You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another friendly episode of Ask a Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob. Thank you for joining us today for this episode number 984. Hope you're having a great day. Maybe it's a little sunnier where you are than where we are, since it's cold and windy here. But that's okay. Not complaining. It's a nice, beautiful day outside. It is a beautiful day outside. We won't be flying today, though. It is a little windy out there, and uh, frankly, it's not that beautiful to show anything either. But these days where it is overcast, it's a good day for what type of drone job, Rob? For mapping. That's right. That is right. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just skip all the nonsense. Um, If you (laughs) would like to support this show and all the information that you hear, please become a member of DroneU, where you have access to over 30 classes, resources, and a community that helps to inspire and motivate you. If you are on a path of success and you understand what it takes to truly drive a successful business, then you'll understand the vast value from being a Drone U member. You can sign up today. Just go to droneu.education. That's HTTP colon slash slash droneu.education. Okay, let's go ahead and let's play the question. Hello, Paul and Rob. My name is Scott. I'm from Denver, Colorado. And I have a question about roof inspections. A few episodes back, you mentioned something about straight up inspection. So if you click on an area of a roof, all of a sudden a whole bunch of images would pop up and you can see the full resolution. What is the name of that program? Um, Is that drone deploy or is that something different? Just curious. And thank you for everything you do. Been a drone you member for quite some time, taking a mapping class uh, back in Boulder, and it's been great. Community is awesome. Thanks for all you do, and look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Yes, the community is awesome because it's made up of people just like you, and we appreciate you more than you can ever imagine. Roof inspections, and so he's just, the idea is that he wants to see these images and get up close, right, and really be able to look at them, and so how does he do that? So when I was talking about that particular show, I was mentioning Eagle View, which is a program that DroneBase was using. I know they're now using another program. Eagle View was just simply a viewer of images from the roof that was organized in a very specific way. It actually was a pretty cool program. Um, But now I know they have a a better solution. When I was talking about clicking in a particular area in a map and it's showing all of those pictures, I was talking about the Pix40 cloud. Um, And I was talking very specifically about PIX40 in general. Now, that being said, as I've been sitting here trying to share a map to the PIX40 cloud, I have learned some glitches that exist um, and may be solved by new software. But I just wanted to mention a couple things to make this work properly. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is if you are watching the show on YouTube... You can now see that I have a point cloud here open. This is a Major League Baseball stadium, actually. This is a pretty good point cloud. This took a lot of work to really get it to be looking uh, the way that I want, especially in order to see that data right there, the Sloan Park data. In fact, soon I'm going to be modeling another baseball stadium, Rob. You are. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be testing out the X7 on obliques now that it's supported by multiple. I'm just going to do it here, isotopes. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So anyway, so let's do a couple things really quick. So I'm in PIX40. I'm on the ray cloud. I've got my cameras turned off. If I turn my cameras on, see, we really can't see very much information because we're blinded by uh, green lasers. It looks like we're in a light show Mm -hmm. and our blue and green imagery. Yes, that is true. So anyway, long story short, um, if I turn my cameras off and I want to show the particular area to a client while the client is with me, I can click that area, any area in the, in the map. I can just click it and, and click. Click it. <laughs> and Pix40 is glitching hard on me. Thanks, Pix. Okay. Why are you glitching so hard on me, Pix40? Okay. Well, this is... Uh, well, this is enlightening. A nice demonstration of 
Pix40's glitches. Problems occur. They sure do. How do we Speaking get around Speaking of them? problems, um, I'm showing you on the desktop. If you want to show a client at their office where they don't have to go anywhere, typically what you have to do is upload not only the project file, but all the images if you want this to work. So as you can see here, this is what it pulls up when we don't have the Ray Cloud. We're looking obviously at the stadium. Right. And you can see my flight paths in general. Click the Ray Cloud. And it's going to pull up um, a basic key point cloud. If I turn on point clouds, you can see the layers of glitches while I do this. So watch this. So the field comes up, pulling up the point cloud, and then all of a sudden it'll just be like fully saturated and look nice and nice and nice and gorgeous. Curvy. See, there it is. There it is. Now, if I touch the point cloud editing tool, watch all most of the park just disappear. Ready? Three, two, and goodbye. So it's almost like it's saying we don't really think there's enough data for that part or well, something. I deleted this data. It's just oh. weird that it doesn't delete it from the start, right? Gotcha. So, so any, it's still there somehow. Yeah. So anyway, if I click an area, uh, oh, uh, now it's thinking that I want to edit the cloud. I don't. If I want to click an area, see how it pulls up these pictures. Uh. Now, if I click over the cubs. See how it pulls up. This also shows you some error in the data. I should go in and disable some of these images. But um, if I highlight over the image and um, press the space bar, I can zoom in. I can also set the zoom level in the images right here, and I can set the image size as far as how I want to see those images. But the trick here, and I know a lot of people don't know this, just hover and click space bar, and now the image comes up, and you can actually see that roof really well. See that? That's a model. No, 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 no. That's the oh, that's the actual image. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Duh. Okay. No. I was like, wow. Yeah, that's a really good model. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't it look that good? Anyway, um, man, Seriously. look at look at those harsh shadows. It just goes to show how important weather is. All right. So that's how you do it. If you want to upload this project to be viewed remotely, you have to upload the project files here. And I just click project, upload uh, project files. And then I can essentially upload all my files here. I did find a new glitch. In fact, if I go to log output, you can see my glitch. Hopefully close log output. Nope. It doesn't show anymore. Um, you've got to have the images in the same file that the project file is in, in order to upload to the Pix4D cloud. This is also why I just create what we call a 3D textured mesh and just upload it to Sketchfab because Sketchfab you know, allows users to visualize their models as well. Obviously it's not lifelike and super beautiful, um, but there's the old Sloan Park. You can still see all the noise on that. I leave that up only for contrast. Where it is. Here it is. Here's Sloan Park 2019. I like that. Where it is. Here it is. All right. If you're listening to the show, again, I just greatly appreciate your patience. It maybe give you a reason to actually check out the shows on YouTube because we're showing lots of cool stuff like what's pulling up right now. Like right there. Oh, and look at that beautiful model. Look at that beautiful model. Hmm. Took a lot of work. Anyway, I think that answers our user's question for the day. There were a lot of more questions that were built in, into his question. We just cut off a lot of them because we'd be sitting here for the next hour and a half talking your faces off <laughs> um, in regards to answering that question. Out of curiosity, since this is up here, how long did this take you? I cleaned this model up for about f six or seven hours. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I plan on... Actually, before the PIX40 user conference, I'm going to go map isotopes again mm -hmm. and try something really specific that I think might actually work in getting better data. So, so uh, could, how much of this could you have somebody else do? So, for example, you record the whole process of exactly what you do, and then could we outsource it and they could do it? Yes. Maybe take them a little bit longer, but... Not nearly as long. Actually, um, in effect, Peter... In effect, significantly cheaper. Peter was helping me get some drafting done to show for some people and it was all it was all from drone data too by the way and it was all outsourced so you'd be stunned at how you can outsource a lot of this stuff yeah um, I would think in so in fact I think there are some other surveyors out there that are outsourcing their line work and that are outsourcing a lot of this work just to ramp up production so. yeah sure Notice the old landing pads being used as GCPs there? Yes. Uh, actually, there is a joke. If you ever go to a practice game, I know you go to practice games here, 
and you talk to any of the groundskeepers, just ask them, do you remember when the field got measles? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they weren't very happy with you. <laughs> they weren't, but they'll be able to tell you the story. <laughs> yes, I bet they will. And then they'll say, get the heck out of my park. They're like, you know that guy? <laughs> exactly. Get out of here. <laughs> That's right. I don't think I'll be asking them about that. <laughs> oh, Rob, doesn't hurt anything. We're just, we were just baby mappers. Yeah, anyway, I hope that answers mappers. the question. That's going to do it for our show today. Um, and I really appreciate everyone uh, watching and listening out there. And if you can, leave us a review, share the show, or go to Ask Drone You and upload your question. Or subscribe. That is tremendously helpful as well. Definitely. All right. Well, that's going to do it. Have a good day. Thanks for listening. 